Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Brad is off. We have team coverage on COVID-19 from what we're learning about a Chicago community hit especially hard by the virus to the concerning number of coronavirus patients at the county jail. We begin with the fight to release medically vulnerable inmates in the Cook County Jail. Right now, the jail has a total of 4,567 inmates, but the infection rate continues to make national headlines. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has the latest on the push to get them released and how Cook County stacks up to other jails. There is no such thing as social, dis social distancing. And in some places, uh, people are squeezed together like sardines in a can. Flonard Rencher knows the Cook County Jail after spending weeks inside for a theft charge, unable to make his $7,000 bond. Here's a look inside Division 2 of the jail and the jail's residential treatment unit. Rencher said social distancing is impossible. And attorney Stephen Wheel says the escalating number of positive cases, now 234, supports that claim. The infection rate is very high. It bespeaks a situation where the disease is being, is being transmitted very rapidly throughout the jail and at a rate that is, you know, a multiple of, of what it is on the outside where actual social distancing is possible. We looked into it. In the Cook County Jail, about one in every 20 detainees has tested positive for COVID-19. So for a group of 1,000 inmates, about 51 have it. Cook County isn't far behind New York Department of Corrections, which has 66 positive cases per 1,000 inmates. And Dallas County Jail, they have only four positive cases per 1,000. In addition to requesting the release of medically vulnerable people in the Cook County Jail, the lawsuit naming Sheriff Tom Dart asks to transfer any other inmates who've been exposed. From what we know, based on detainee declarations and what we're hearing on side, inside, that's uh, hundreds of people. The sheriff has said the jail has stepped up sanitation measures and opened up barracks as additional isolation housing. As a practice, neither the Cook County Sheriff's Department or the Cook County State's Attorney's Office will comment on pending litigation. Briefs from both sides were due today, and lawyers representing detainees will argue their case before a federal judge Tuesday via telephone. They're asking for an immediate emergency order. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. The CBS2 investigators have filed a Freedom of Information Act request for a list of the names of inmates being released because of COVID-19 precautions. So far, we have not gotten a response.